This week I want to indulge in a little bit more nerdiness with a case study. This week I want to talk about Control Alt Delete and PvP, two video game comics that are completely different. PvP is a webcomic about the authors and crew behind a gaming magazine and it transforms as the years go by as the characters grow and learn and all that great stuff. Control Alt Delete though is originally about two guys sitting at a couch ranting about video games. Now let's get into the, all the good stuff. Both of these comics have very long archives spanning over the course of years and they both are nerd culture webcomics. They make fun of video games and pop culture and all that jazz associated with video game nerds. Scott Kurtz and PvP, though, is much more character-driven story than Control-Alt-Delete. Cole, Brent, Jade, Francis, and the rest of the gang make things interesting. Tim Buckley in Control-Alt-Delete has ended the main story arc of his webcomic. That's through an a-hole event that you can check out for yourself, has moved on to go into more separated storylines. And after I did a little bit more research, they both have done advertising inside the webcomic with, for example, Sumo, and their beanbags with Control Delete and Wizards of the Coast for PvP. Depending on your preference, it's up to you to decide which is more of a sellout. Both of these webcomics have become popular enough in order to support their creators as a full-time job, so please don't discredit them, and please make your own judgments, as they both have flaws when you dig deep enough. This originally started when I was reading through Control Alt Delete's archive, and I noticed a blog post in which he talked which Tim Buckley talked about Scott Kurtz saying that a video game webcomic cannot exist without character-driven stories. And this may or may not be true. I see that PvP has attained a more broad audience. For example, it's been able to sustain related franchises such as The Trenches, Table Titans, a partnership with Wizards of the Coast, Penny Arcade, Strip Search, and many other different projects related to it. I admit there is an age difference between these webcomics. Tim Buckley has not done any of this related franchising. And speaking about authors, on this channel I support the death of the author. Their life only matters when it comes into the work at the very beginning and at the very end, sometime in between, nothing more than that. If you want to do some research about him, feel free to and come to your own opinion. If that's right, on this channel, we encourage you to form your own opinions. Tim Buckley with his main character Ethan and his friends has ended that storyline, unlike Scott Kurtz in PvP, in order to go back to his roots as a true video game webcomic. So I have to ask you guys, can you have a story driven by characters? Or can you still have the same comic making fun of video games? Please like, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that nice jazz. And I will leave you with that until next time.